Hello guys and welcome to a brand new Crosscraft Classic update and for this update we're doing version 1.2 version 1.2 is being called Upgrade and Crosscraft version 1.2 has been a very major milestone in the game's overall optimization, performance, and parity with version 0.30 across all platforms. In addition to that it fixes several major issues including multiplayer name resolution so named servers work uh, PS Vita parity issues and multiplayer trunk mesh generation which would cause long lag times on the weaker end hardware of the PSP or the PS Vita. Render distances have also been enlarged on all platforms and performance has improved at an average of 40-60% to 60 across all levels. Some of the important additions here are for custom and inclusion calling, uh, creating and storing metadata per chunk and using this metadata to generate chunks faster. Introducing the new uh, save file version, save file version 2 and 3, which uh, changed a couple of the uh, properties of worlds in order to store or, uh, custom world sizes. Uh, the multiplayer aspect now supports up to 512 by 512 worlds on non-PSP platforms. Textures on PSP are now uh, stored in VRAM and distance fog has been introduced for all platforms. You can also change the uh, port and key that you want to connect to multiplayer with in order for better overall uh, verification and support of all multiplayer. Chat opens up the PS Vita and many issues have been fixed on the PS Vita including multiplayer and uh, the UI overall. We also have added a pause menu with save and quit functionality alongside name tags above players in multiplayer. For a very uh, in-depth, uh, thorough explanation of all the changes, you can go to the release uh, which is in the description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and connect to our new server. We are now hosting a Minecraft Classic server on classic.crosscraft.wtf. Link will be in the description as well. Uh, this server is hosted, should be up 24-7 or roughly 24-7. Uh, and lots of people are joining right now to go ahead and test out the new version update. So if you give it a second, we can go into game here and we have Moda Legacy who's sitting right here at spawn. As you can see, you can see the name tag above his head. Our server has been up for a couple days now and basically uh, people have just been building on it. Uh, from all across the world, we have people from Russia, Brazil, etc. Lots of people have been here and been putting their mark on the server as well. We have plenty of pixel art, we have a bunch of builds, and we can see players just going around and doing things. It's a very surreal experience, especially when you're playing with the people on the PSP and the PS Vita. Here's our great pixel art uh, area as well. And the PSP symbol over here too. In addition to that, chat has functionality like slash list. You can use tab to bring up a menu of who's currently online, including someone named test name, which is probably me. Oh, it's not me actually. But yeah, there's a bunch of uh, people on the server. It's just playing around and uh, the link is in the description and it's configured for all default crosscraft builds as well. So this marks sort of the end of the crosscraft uh, classic um, development cycle. Uh, we're not really going to be actively developing a uh, Crosscraft Classic. We'll still be receiving feature updates in the form of new ports. So for example, when the PS2 port comes across, uh, that will be on both this and Survival Test 3. Uh, we'll be moving into purely developing Survival Test now for the survival mode of the game. In Survival Test 1, we will be having basic survival where you can walk around the world and break and place blocks. Uh, blocks will break into individual smaller item drops that you can go ahead and walk over to pick up. Um, and that will and then and it will also feature block breaking animations alongside of the player health inventory and an updated save version to store all of that data. There will be several UI changes as well involved in that, and that will be coming across shortly. I think what we're going to schedule for the Crosscraft Survival Test version 1 will be roughly next week. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to this update. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and without further ado, see you guys later.